to the Herbal Bunny. Today I'm going to be planting my lettuces. So let's get started. But before we get started, please subscribe to the channel if you like this content and for more gardening tips. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to be planting in these trays. I had these for about three, three seasons. You want to make sure you sanitize them really well. I like to add a little bit of bleach. I have a five gallon bucket and I put like a quarter cup of bleach into the water and I sanitize. We're going to do a few trays of these. I'm going to get this all set up and then we'll come back. All right, so I'm actually kind of bummed because I only have five of these. I It was a 12 and I got two of them has onions in it. So I'm not sure where the other five are, but and I got to narrow this down <laughs> to just five different lettuces. But we'll go through each one of these in just a minute. But first, we're going to fill our seed trays up with soil, seed starting mix with worm casting. I like to use the black gold. I uh, do not have the bag with me, but what I do is I mix the soil up in here. And then you just add just enough water. See, it kind of comes to my finger a little bit, but it's not bringing out too bad. And we still want to be nice and crumbly. And I just put the worm castings in there. But I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and fill up these trays. Alright, so I got all these filled up. i seen another gardener do this. They'll take one tray, it has to be the same size, and they'll just gently push down on the soil on top of the other one so that it makes just the right dip to plant the seeds. Probably can't see that. I showed it in my other video, but I'm going to go ahead and do that with the rest of them and I'll come back. All right, so I got six different ones I wanted to plant, but I can only find five of these. So I have to eliminate one and I'm going to eliminate one of these because they're both kind of a similar green with some purple in it. Um, but I just did want to show you the variety. So eventually I will be planting both of these, but I don't know. I think we'll just eliminate the red sail leaf. And then we'll just go ahead and plant this guy. All right, I'll plant and then I'll come back. All right, my next one is gonna be this Grand Rapids leaf lettuce. I have not had, have I had any of these varieties? I may have had this other one, the speckled one. I usually direct seed sow these out in the garden and I'm gonna be honest I've never really had much luck with direct seed sowing. I've always had better luck starting them indoors because I know a lot of people say well, why don't you just direct seed sow them out, out in the garden. I would love to do that however it takes a while to warm up around here <laughs> and these are not frost they're they're frost tender not frost hardy and I do not want them to get frost, frost bitten and die. So I rather have them in the house. I can grow them in the grow light and just kind of harvest them as I go outside. I can plant them probably, I think my last frost date here is like the 12th of April. And I'll just uh, put whatever I don't use outside, but I, I love it. I love lettuce. All right, my next one is, I know this is a lettuce, I don't think it is. Uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce this. Radigio? Radigio? <laughs> Radigui? No. <laughs> I have not had this one. I'm not exactly sure if it's actually a lettuce, but it kind of looks like it. And I was just really curious. It might be. It's from Italy. You know, it says it's a cross between a lettuce and a cabbage. It is often referred as a blood purifier and a sleep aid. Okay, so do not eat this at lunchtime at work. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, so we're going to, oh, I need to make the tag for the other one. I'll be right back. All right, this one here, the Cimarron lettuce, looks really pretty. Vibrant color, rust to purple leaves. There's some lettuces that are 
called cut and come again, but you just kind of cut them like you do your grass and you can probably harvest uh, several times off of them. I probably should have looked on these to see if they are the cut and come again. This Radicchio, the last one I just did, it does not look like it just by the picture. <laughs> and it's saying that it's like a, like a cabbage type situation. So I'm gonna venture to guess that one's probably one that you just cut down one time grow. But lettuces, the ones that you can cut, cut and come again, you can harvest them probably about three times my experience before they start getting bitter and before it gets too hot and they bolt and they, they go to seed. I love lettuces, I love salads and trying different varieties this year. Like I said, I've not tried any of these ones. Uh, I did the, this next one, I have tried it. So I gotta take that back. All right, make the label. All right, yep, this one here, I have tried this one. This is the uh, freckled romaine lettuce. I wanna say that when I did try this one, I did try the cut and come again on it and it didn't do so well. So I'm thinking this one here is probably one that you just let it grow and then you just hack it at one time. It might be more of like the separate lettuces, like this first one here. It kind of looks more, see how it's more like wide open, like spread out. And this one here looks like it's more like tight in the middle. I can see the difference what I'm talking about. And then the one I decided not to plant, it kind of looks like it maybe like a cut and come again. Let's see. Yep. You know what? It actually says on the back of these that they're that they're cut and come again. So yep. So after the first 21 days it says you can cut and come again. So this one is a cut and come again. So isn't this one? Even though it didn't really seem to grow back. Um so yeah that one there is the cut and come again. And come at, yeah, so that one there also surprisingly because it seems like it wouldn't be, but I'm not a lettuce expert. I'm gonna trust what they're saying. So yeah, this one here, same. Yeah, so all these say cut and come again after 21 days after they germinate. So well, we learn something new every day, folks. That's why you watch these videos so you can learn from somebody who has no idea what they're talking about. Okay, something I wanted to mention, I try to remember to mention every video because I mentioned it in one video and I'm thinking, oh, everybody's gonna watch every single video and they're already gonna hear that. And I'm just being repetitive. But the labels, let's see, I got a horrible handwriting, but let me show you this one. It's somewhat neat. <laughs> I put the, the lettuce, the variety, the date, I know it's kind of sloppy, but the MI is the the company, so MI Gardener. I put that on there, on the labels. The date, just so that you know when you actually planted the seed. So if you come back, like, it's the 19th of March, you're like, hey, these haven't grown yet. What did I plant these? And okay, it's been 30 days, they haven't sprouted, so you probably got duds, but. All right, enough of that. I'm going to be putting vermiculite on top of the seeds instead of soil. This helps to Fold in moisture, it also helps keeping the bad green stuff from growing. We want the good green stuff to grow and this kind of helps keep that away. We're also using organic soil. There could be um, soil mats. You've seen that kind of just crawl everywhere when you have organic soil. But this here will help kind of keep that down, helps hold the moisture in. So we're just gonna add, kind of sprinkle over top these just like that don't want to get it too deep because this is pretty thick but uh plants seem to be doing pretty good so far that since i've been using this and i love the mi gardener seed so far i've had pretty su good success rate of germination rate um i also like baker creek farm Seeds. I have some free heirloom seeds. Go to freeheirloomseeds.com. Go now. 
it's February. They have their new list out. New list goes out February 1st of every year. And I or actually ordered mine in January. I was like, where's all the different ones? But you basically, you just do it like a donation through PayPal and you can pick, you know, if you donate like 30 bucks and you get like 45 different seed packets and you can pick which ones that you want and they will ship them to you. And that's pretty awesome. You get 45 seed packets for 30 bucks. Can't beat that. So, yeah. All right. Just going to scoochy that about just a little bit. And then we're going to bottom water these. You always want to bottom water, bottom water, <laughs> bottom water <laughs> your seedlings because you don't want a bunch of water sitting on top here. First off, it might wash your seed away and you don't want to be too damp because that's going to encourage algae and stuff to grow. And we don't want that. We want to be able to water from the bottom. That's where the roots are going to be. And what I like to do when I bottom pot of water these you know what I use like half an inch of water in the bottom come back check it in about an hour if there's you know it's dry pretty dry then I'll add just a little tiny bit more water to it but if I come back in an hour and there's still water sitting in there I dump it out because you don't want your soil to be wet wet all the time because again, you use all the vermiculite you want, you know, things are still gonna <laughs> grow. It just kind of helps slow it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of them. I have these wonderful little domes, and it comes with a doohickey. <laughs> I love my terminology. It comes with this little guy here, and you can put it right on top, and it has holes. There's holes that go through there, and you can let some of the humidity out. So you can just, they're really cheap and cheesy, Amazon. So you just kind of have to stagger it on there. But yeah. And then we're going to put these underneath the glow lights. So I'll be back. All right, there we go. I have four there. And I put the other one up here next to this light, this one here does throw off a lot of heat. These are my onions that I have planted. They're doing pretty good. Actually, the thing I was talking about with the water is I left the water. I didn't come down here and check the water. I don't know if you can see that orange mossy stuff starting to grow under the algae, but that is what I was talking about. Not letting your seedlings sit in water in the bottom of the trays. Definitely make sure, come back in an hour. If there's water in there, just dump it out. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Uh, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what kind of lettuce you guys like. And if you knew the difference between the cut and come again, and I promise I will <laughs> do a little bit more research on that the next time. And until then, go out and grow something. Bye.